Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you the easiest and the fastest way to clean mud off your Jeep. They're all like going off road and having fun, all that sort of good stuff. But when it comes to cleaning mud off your Jeep, um, a lot of people don't do it in the best way or the fastest way or the best way to actually protect their car next time. So if you can protect it well the first time, it's going to be easier and easier um, every time you do go off road, uh, which will make life a, a lot easier um, and will protect your car's paint for a a lot longer. Um, if you guys saw last week's video, if you haven't, go back and watch that. I'll leave a little link up here if you guys want to check that out. But we started our Christmas holiday, and it's not the best weather out um, at the moment. We've got these all tropical storms because we live in a tropical place. So it sort of sucks. And I just don't want to be stuck at home on my first day of Christmas holidays just watching Netflix and uh, chilling out. I wanted to get in the Jeep and go have some fun. So the track I normally go to was com completely muddy. Um, it wasn't actually as bad as I thought and um, you can't get up a lot of speed there so the side of the Jeep isn't too muddy but there's still a lot of mud on the inside the wheel arches um, on the tires on the wheels um, and up the side and on the plastic flares as well now, if you guys have a Jeep you guys know that the black standard flares on the JK especially um, and the TJ are so prone to uh, mud staining fading all that sort of stuff now we're really protecting with Bowden Zone uh, Mr. Black which has brought them back to life but you want to be able to protect them um, and be able to clean mud off it so it doesn't actually leave stains. So I've got this like four step formula that I use um, and I've been using it for a long time and it's helped my Jeep stay in awesome conditions. You guys have commented before how do you keep your Jeep so clean it's supposed to be a four wheel drive. Now a lot of people don't care. If you don't care maybe don't watch this video. Go back and watch the video from last week. Um, if you guys are more into that a lot of people don't care. But for me and I think a lot of people out there as well we love protecting our Jeeps. They cost a lot of money. They cost, I oh don't know, what's mine? Twenty. 20 grand, a lot of people's Jeeps cost 100 grand, 80 grand plus, especially in the new JLs and um, JTs and stuff like that. So we want to keep them in the best condition. Now these products I'm using are pretty expensive to be fair for car cleaning products. They're probably the more expensive uh, products out there. They're all Bowden Zone, made here in Australia, which is awesome. Um, it's great to support local businesses. They are quite expensive for car cleaning products, as I said. So I got all these products on sale. Always waiting for products to go on sale, like a Black Friday sale or um, Boxing Day sale and stuff like that because that's normally about $90 for just for the snow foam alone so I got that on sale for 16 I think just a snow cannon by itself I didn't want to buy one because they're quite expensive I think that's about $100 by itself I got that on sale for about 60 bucks. Um, wash wax I don't mind paying full price for this because I absolutely love this the best wash out on the market at the moment um, I got that on sale for like 15 bucks, where it's normally like $25 bucks. Uh, same with the Wheelie Clean I just wait until all these products go on sale. But they, all these products work so well together. Um, some of the products I don't mind paying full price, but these two, they're quite expensive. So if you guys are looking for products, maybe just wait until they do go on sale, save you guys a bit of money. There's never wrong saving money as well. Um, so these are the products I use. Snow foam from Bowden's Own will help break down um, all the mud that's on that vehicle. Um, get off. It's like a washless, a touchless wash, um, if you will, but it's like a a pre-cleaner, it's going to break down all that dirt, all that grime, get it off your paintwork really fast. Um, then you can move on to your hand wash, wash, which I normally use the wash wax. Now this is formatted with like a rust um, protective foam. I think it's made from like beeswax. I'm not 100% sure, but this is made for plastic cars, so they want to try and prevent rust and that sort of stuff, which is awesome for a four-wheel drive as well. Um, the cleaner is a great way to break down all that brake dust um, and grime on your wheels pretty um, intense sort of stuff so it, it does smell really bad so you kind of have to give it a bit of time to set in and kind of step back a bit um, and then Wet Dreams is a great uh, product for like it's not a ceramic coating but it's very much like a ceramic coating um, how you'll get that uh, protective coating on top of your paint uh, which will just make life a bit easier in the long run when you come to clean mud and dirt off it it will just kind of just wipe off instead of the actually sticking the paint this stuff is awesome it's like a bead machine, uh, machine um, Wet Dreams Protective spray on, rinse off sealant. So, if you've got a gurney or a pressure washer, um, you're going to see this stuff activate pretty much straight away. It's fantastic. Um, we've got a couple brushes for like wheels and stuff like that, hard to reach spots um, inside the flares and stuff like that. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, how many buckets do I use? I only use one bucket. Well, if you're only using one bucket, you're just putting more dirt back onto your paintwork. Um, so, I actually use three buckets um, one bucket for the wheels, move that one away. Now, I've got a white bucket uh, which is for my cleaning products so I know it's always clean I've got fresh suds and it's always clean um, 
Then I've got a black rinse bucket as well. So every time I uh, wash the panel off the car um, with my sponge, I just go back through and clean it out, rinse it out, make sure it's nice and um, well clean, uh, ready for to go into that clean bucket again and wipe down the next panel. So really simple stuff. Um, these two match together are really awesome. I tried it with the the Gurney one that comes factory with the Gurney and that was completely useless. I recommend buying these two together. Uh, just works so much better as you'll see. Makes a really nice um, foam on the car which is going to release all that dirt and just make the life a lot easier. So let's pull that up, get that on, uh, put some of that in the bucket. Let's get the cleaning and you guys can see how well this former actually works. Um, but if you guys haven't done it already, smash that like button and subscribe button as well. It's going to help, help us out massively. Um, tell YouTube that you like our content and you guys want us to make more and we can do more stuff, more off-roading, more cleaning products, more reviews, whatever you guys want. But smash that like button as well. Also in the comments um, down below, let me know you guys how, how you guys wash your Jeeps um, after four-wheel driving, whether it's just through the car wash, which I don't like, uh, but a lot of people do do that. Whether it's a formula that you guys have used for years and it works well, please let me know in the comments if it's something that I haven't tried before or letting other people know what you guys do. A lot of people do the same thing, a lot of people do something completely different. Um, but let's um, pull these up and get to washing the Jeep. Alright, so the first step um, I'll do first is the wheels. Always do the wheels first because they're always the dirtiest. You've got brake grime, brake dust. All that sort of nasty stuff on there, so really clean, give it a few shakes first. Now this stuff is pretty intense, so just let it sit for a couple of minutes uh, and then we'll put our snow foam on top and you'll see this stuff activate. It will turn purple and you know, you can see how much brake dust and stuff is actually um, on your Jeep as well. Now tyres and wheels and stuff are pretty dirty, so a few sprays. I don't actually know if you're supposed to spray the tyre or not, but we will. Now this stuff does smell better than, um, they used to have like another formula that they used to use um, and that stuff actually smelled like ass. So we'll spray this stuff on, it smells a bit better. And you'll see it activate um, and it should turn purple. Alright, so with the snow foam it's got all the um, different Measurements and stuff you need actually on the bottle. Bound and Zones does an awesome job with that. So you do water and the snow foam, snow drop, snow blower, whatever you want to call it. Um, it gives you all the recipes you want and you can actually adjust it, the thickness of the foam on the nozzle um, as well. If you want a lighter foam or a thicker foam depending on actually how dirty your vehicle actually is, which is awesome. So give it a, a bit of a shake up, get all nice and foamy inside there, then we can spray down the Jeep. Let that sit for um, it's pretty caked on there, so I'll probably leave it for five or six minutes depending on how hot it is. If it's too hot outside, um, don't leave it too long, it will end up drying, but we'll be able to see all that dirt and just stuff just fall off, and we'll be able to see the reaction to the uh, wheelie really clean we just put on as well. So let's spray it on and get this job done. You can see that purple starting to react to the foam and the dirt and brake dust actually on the wheel itself, which is insane. You can see all the dirt and mud just dripping off. Now I'll leave this for a couple minutes. Look at that mud. Look at that. Yuck. Let it seep in, let the dirt drop. I could have done probably with a slightly thicker spray on it. Um, with how muddy it actually is. You can see the mud just dripping off there. It's actually insane, that's what you want. That means it's just reacting with all the mud that's on the car. That way you don't actually have to wipe it into the paint and just see it falling away. Insane stuff. So we're gonna leave that for a couple of minutes. Uh, I need to put the camera on charge. Look at all that. Ugh. Yeah. Disgusting. Alright. So I might put the camera on charge. 
Um, it's about to die. Uh, leave this sit for a couple of minutes and then we can get back. We can pressure wash this down and then we can use our um, wash wax on the Jeep and um, get that all cleaned up. And we're pretty much good to go. And that's it. Really simple and easy. Oh, yuck. Look at that. All the mud just are dripping off. Not good. All right, let's get this done. All right, uh, so the camera was upstairs on the charge because the battery was going to die and I've only got the one battery. Really need to invest another battery. So I came down, I don't want to leave it for too long because um, it is quite humid, um, I don't want it to dry. So I let it work its magic over that five minutes, just the snow foam by itself, and look at the result. So all I've done is pressure wash um, the snow foam and stuff off. You can just see a lot of dirt just dripping down from off the guards and stuff like that. But you guys remember what it was like before and what it is like now. Remember all the dirt kind of um, stuck up the side of the Jeep there. It's all gone. A few little marks that will get, well, like that, see? It kind of just moved with my hand. Um, obviously, the pressure wash. The pressure washer kind of just missed that. But just with that formula from the snow from itself, has just released all that mud and dirt and crap. Um, and just after you pressure wash it, it's all gone. And a lot of people just leave it like this. Dry it off or not dry it, whatever you guys are into. Personally, I dry my own cars. Um, you can see all the mud is just gone. Nothing caked on. Up in the guards, there'll probably still be a little bit that I've missed. But what that formula does, what that snow foam does, is breaks down all that dirt. Um, and then when you go and pressure wash it, it just cleans it straight off. It is insane. As you can see, there's no suds in the bucket. So I haven't hand washed it yet. We're about to do that now. Um, and we'll see how the Jeep goes afterwards. Um, if we get some time, I do need to pick my son up from day here in about half an hour, so we might put some wet dreams on as well. But you can see um, the water is beading. That, mean, that means there's a protective layer, kind of like a ceramic coating on top, but it's, it's not. It's like a ceramic coating, but it's not. Um, all you gotta do is spray it on, use your pressure washer or your hose and just rinse it off straight away. Um, and you'll see pretty much straight away how it's protected the paint and how it's left like a protective layer on that paint itself. But just with pressure washing with that snow foam, you can see how clean it is. So I mean, you guys a lot of time and a lot of effort. And also will uh, stop any chance of actually scratching the paint. The less time you spend actually with your hands on the paintwork with cloths and stuff like that, there's less likely it is to scratch your paint while you're actually cleaning it. Because the purpose of cleaning your car is actually to clean it, keep it in good condition um, and everything like that. So uh, let's do the um, wax wash. Um, what I do is I just get a, a cap full um, of the wax wash into the bucket, suds it up, um, then use um, my sponge um, and just go over the vehicle. And I do like two panels at a time, depending on how hot it is and how dirty the vehicle is as well. Also, I'm just uh, cleaning it with snow foam. The vehicle's pretty clean. So let's chuck a capful of that in the bucket, um, do our uh, wash, and then we can rinse it off and we can see the results afterwards as well. But pretty, on camera it probably looks a lot better than it is. It looks pretty damn perfect at the moment. So let's do that um, and see how much cleaner we can get it. It is hot today guys, all right. So we've done our hand wash. Um, as you guys saw me do the front, I just quickly did and didn't film the other side um, and stuff like that. So we've done our hand wash because we've got to go pick my son up from daycare very shortly. As you can see, no more dirt. Uh, these are just like little battle scars and stuff like that. So no more dirt, beautiful, clean body. Um, that's pretty much it, like really simple guys. Uh, the wax washers, absolutely awesome. It's got that inbuilt rust protector for classic cars, but also really good for four-wheel drive. Especially if you're driving up the beach or somewhere that snows, uh, would be really beneficial for that. Obviously, it's not going to, it's not like a rust protective um, per se. Um, still good, still do everything you can to protect it from rust, but that's just a good way to um, add like another step um, onto your process to make sure you're protecting your vehicle in every possible way. But it's just, I I normally go over it and dry all my cars so there's no water sitting. Water creates rust, so I make sure there's no water um, in all the sills. Make sure there's no dirt sitting anywhere that it's not supposed to be. Alright, so with all the Bounds own products, 
um, it makes it super hydrophobic the paint works so it's much easier to dry and keep clean um, so what you have to do is see I need to go over it again with wet dreams but I've just run out of time today but you can see how the water is beading on the paintwork uh, so when you are almost finished what you can do is just get the hose um, on like a full setting um, and just wash um, all the water and the water will actually bead off the vehicle um, and it will just make it super simple to dry obviously you can't get everything uh, but just with those two set former um, one with the snow foam and one with the uh, wash wax you can see the paintwork is and the dirt is no more spray and walk away if you guys remember that it's from New Zealand Australia whatever you guys probably don't understand um, but you can see super clean super simple it probably took I don't know half an hour 40 minutes if that uh, so let's dry this off and that's pretty much it for today guys I'll leave all the um, products below in the description if you guys want to check them out what I'll do I'll just leave one link uh, to Bowden's own that way you can go through all their lists uh, pick out the products that you like um, I bought all my stuff from super cheap auto on sale if you buy them from Bowden's own website um, they don't really do any discounts or anything like that unfortunately uh, so maybe look out for sales at Auto Barn, Super Cheap Auto, Ripco and places like that. Black Friday, Boxer Day is coming up, so have a look out for that. Christmas is coming up. Perfect stocking stuffing, guys. Um, so if you guys like this video, or if you like these products, have a look in the description below. Keep your uh, Jeep in awesome condition. Um, get you back on the trails and enjoying life and don't have to worry about the paint or anything like that. Um, and keep it, keep the value up on them, like they're holding the value really well. But that's it for today, guys. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.